All right, first, real quick, I just want to show you what the car looks like. Just real quick, real quick, uh, for no other reason than just so you can see how plain it looks. There's nothing special about it. It is an absolutely plain car. Nothing that you would expect to see, you know, anything spectacular. Still got a steely on the back here. Still got a steely. Um, nothing spectacular. Bumper hanging off. Bumper hanging off. Uh, essentially, this is where the all the magic happens. So... We're going to just kind of dive right in here. All right, I got a little cheat sheet here. Just going to read right off the cheat sheet. I'm not going to make it hard. Right off the cheat sheet. First off, the Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator, $120. The sandwich plate in the back for the oil pressure gauge, that was $18. I have $110 or so in AN fittings. The braided lines for those AN fittings were about $35. The purge line right here for the nitrous, $18. Not necessary, $18 though. The skunk tooth throttle body right here, $141. The detent springs in the transmission, $35. Fuel filter, the air motor fuel filter. Just the filter itself, 10 micron, not the housing. I've had the housing. That was $40. The purge kit itself for the nitrous. That was $120. The axles, $359. Nothing special, stage one swap shop. Nothing special, 359. They get the job done. Next on the list, head gasket, $100. Coil unplug cap delete, bam, $55. The intake gasket, thermal, $42. Maybe you won't be able to see that, I don't know. $42. The cam gears, $88. Right there, bam. The balance shaft delete kit, $100, $120. The fuel injectors, FIC 1000s, 225. Next on the list, the Skunk 2 tuner cams, 446. Skunk 2 springs and retainers, 360. The Nippon K20 pistons, 240. The KS2 and F23 rods and the rod bolts. 420 the distributor itself Amazon special $70 pull on plug kit bam 350 the clutch itself $410 flywheel $350 the mounts innovative mounts $320 bam 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 the EGR plates right here for the intake two of them $60 for both the idle air control plate, $30. Nowadays, I think it's $40. I had originally bought different injectors, RDX 410s. Those were $329. The alternator relocate bracket, $80. The T bracket, innovative, $90 in the back there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that down there. $90 for the T bracket. The G23 plugs from KS2 that go into the cylinder head for the oil passage. Those were $55. The headers here, Facebook special, $60. Um, ARP bolts for the clutch, for the flywheel, for the cylinder head, $240 total for those. Timing tensioner, right here. Timing tensioner, $100. Timing belt, $100. The intake and the exhaust valves in the head, $310. The cylinder head itself, $300. The fuel rail kit right here from Roscoe. Got the Roscoe fuel rail kit, that was $180. Got the spray plate from KS2 right here, which is about to be out of here. Gonna switch it over to the direct port. Uh, so that'll be gone, but that I did buy, $182. Euro R intake, bare, whenever I got it. $250 and include the $280 to balance the rotating assembly. 
we can go around to the front of the car or inside the car and i'll take my little cheat sheet here actually let me back up a little bit okay I'm you can back up a little bit there's a couple things under here that i forgot to mention so the intake tube i've had that for a long time bought it off of ebay a long time ago two diesel truck intakes just fused together into the hollowed out light the light i've had for years the radiator i also had so those i did not add cost to those were essentially free did not pay nothing for those traction bar amazon special 125 don't buy it don't buy it don't buy it okay so let's go to the inside okay here's the inside of the car very standard you've seen one you've seen them all still got the stock seats two seats got a kid that likes to ride over there sometimes she likes to have fun occasionally too uh still got the dash still got the stock steering wheel got all that stock stuff carpet everything so we're gonna jump right in the oil pressure gauge that i got it's back in here it's probably hard to see but it's there you see it there 112 dollars the shifter box jack sparrow special straight up to black pearl right there bam $331 shifter box cables cables I don't use and it came with the bracket cables I don't use because they bind I use the stock cables shifter box is fine it's a fine piece don't use the cables though and the cables didn't work for me I'll say that uh, next thing the nitrous kit $408 that was for a single nozzle wet kit uh, nitrous pressure gauge $28 and then down here we got the ECU and the moats. That was $350. This fuse block right here, $22. These relays for the nitrous and for the fuel pump, those were $40 total. So $20 each. And the wide band right here, the PLX I've had for quite a while. So I didn't um, add that into the cost. And the last thing in the car that I can think of is the fuel pump. It's a Walbro 450. That cost, let me check the cheat sheet real quick, 125. And then also Neptune so I could tune the computer. That was 150. There's one thing up in the front that I forgot to mention. The wire harness I made, I didn't buy it. I made it. I did have to spend money on it, but I didn't add it into it. So I did spend money on it, like I said but I didn't add any cost to it. I don't know what it would, I don't know. So I just didn't add any cost to it. I have uh, some of the boxes left from a lot of the stuff that I bought. So I just wanted to show those real quick. The RDX injectors, the 1000 CC injectors, the cam gears, the bracket for the transmission to the Jack Sparrow special, the cables that bind on you, the clutch bolts, the flywheel bolts, the cylinder head bolts. Purge kit. Intake valves. I don't know where the exhaust valve box went. I don't know. I probably threw it away. 100 micron air motor filter replaced with the 10 micron. Tuner two cams. That's the oil pressure gauge. These are the springs and retainers. Springs and retainers. Throttle body, stunt to throttle body. Uh, this is the clutch. It is a on the ground clutch. Flywheel, rings, rod, uh, yeah, rod bearings, and these are the pistons. Nippin, uh, Type R Integra K20s, 86 millimeters. They got like a 7.2 millimeter dome. So it makes it about 12 to one compression in all of my little bit of research. So, yeah, that's the boxes that I got left. Just kind of a little bit of a, little bit of a visualization. So that's pretty much all the parts and like the install or the engine management and stuff like that to build the engine. There was a couple of other things I added. I I also got new triple eights for the front. Got two o fives because the two twenty fives at the time were extinct for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, also, the blades that are on here I had to buy for two hundred. Uh, the wheels that came on the car whenever I first got it, somebody hijacked. Uh, left it on the blocks for me in my front yard, so appreciate that. You suck. Uh, so that was another $200. But also, I had to buy a new cooling fan. 
I got the stock OEM fan. And also I had to buy some couple of tools necessary. First I had to buy a degree kit to degree the cams. That was 225. And then also I had to buy a degree wheel which was $30. I also had to buy a piston stop, which was $10. And I also had to buy a new feeler gauge. So add all of that up, add all that up and you end up with $9,933. Right there, $9,933. That's including the $280 to balance the rotating assembly. So, so call it 10 grand and I paid a thousand dollars for the car. 10 times more for the engine as what was paid for the car. This is number one bullshit. All right, so there it is to you guys that had asked. $10,000 total price tag on a $1,000 or 25 year old car. Um, it actually looks worse now than it ever has after ten thousand dollars i guess it don't look too bad right there but nevertheless my guess is it makes about 350 to the wheel give or take i'm not too sure I haven't had this car on the dyno uh that's not too far off into the future though i'm gonna get the direct port put on it then i'm gonna slap it on a dyno and then i'm gonna try to figure out what i'm gonna do about the transmission stock transmission doesn't like taking second gear anymore once i get those three things figured out I'll see what I got. Maybe we can actually get the power put to the road, keep a transmission live long enough to do so. And we'll see what we're working with. Very basic build though, nothing spectacular. $10,000, very basic build. Just what is needed to make enough power and keep it alive is essentially what I bought. So I'd be really interested in seeing what everybody else spent on theirs. See if you spent 10,000 too. Uh, you'd probably be surprised if you haven't added it up. You might be over 10000 Didn't take long to get up to $10,000. 10 here, 20 here, 30 here, 50 here, 100 here. It adds up super quick. Let me know down below what y'all spent. I'd be super interested in knowing if anybody else or how much everybody else has spent. Maybe I won't feel like such a dunce. Which leads into the next point of this. Was it worth it? Or will I do it again? Or would I do it again? And I say to that, 100%, it's not a hobby, it's more a way of living, it's my life. I'm sure some people understand that. So yeah, I'll do it again, it is 100% worth it. As it has been every other time in the past since I was a kid, so. Was I surprised though at 10,000? I was definitely surprised it got up that high. I just never thought to even do the math. Next thing you know, you're spending 10 grand on a 25 year old car and I'm running out of daylight. Maybe I'm donkey of the day over here. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, hit me with a thumbs up and I'm out.